games in. Yeah, it's an early season. We're young. Uh, last time I was in here, I said uh, that we were young. We were going to uh, go through a bunch of things that were going to give us experience going forward. And uh, I think the only problem with this game tonight is, well, not the only problem. The main problem is we didn't play hard for 40 minutes. I think the first half and the second half were two completely different games. But we dug a hole for ourselves so big in the first half that uh, we weren't able to come back in the second half. I mean, we got it close, but uh, going down into the locker room, uh, going into the locker room down nine, maybe we go in, you know, down four or five, then we start chipping away early, then maybe get the lead and then, you know, go forward. But uh, I wouldn't say we played poorly, but I think we could definitely play better. How much of the, the shooting for them from the perimeter, how much of that was just them knocking down shots as opposed to the defensive lapses from you guys? Well, they're a good team, so we knew that coming in. They averaging something like 89. Something like that, but uh, we knew that they were going to come in looking to get shots up, you know, coming in firing, and we prepared for it. I just don't think in the first half we uh, executed as well as we should have. Any big adjustment in the second half that gave you guys a little more success? And... We just followed the scout, which we should have did in the first half, but I mean, we got away from it, which is okay, but it's not okay because we didn't win the game. But just got to pay attention to the scouting report. Coaches prepare us for uh, certain things, and we need to uh, pay more attention to it. And apply it when we actually get to the game. What do you tell the younger guys? You know, at, at halftime, you know, after. Uh, at halftime, it's it's mostly just uh, of how we played. Not really. I'm not a coach, so I can't be like, oh yeah, we have to fix this. We got to fix this. But it's just a, uh, it's a bunch of different things. After the games, it's a long season. Like I said, we're eight games in. We have twenty something more to play. So, don't get too high on the wins and too low on the losses. Just you know, take it each day at a time. You guys are only able to come up with two steals on the night. How do you guys? In that regard going I mean, I think I just think we try to stay solid on defense. It's not necessarily about stairs; it's more necessarily just about getting stops. So just trying to stay in the pack and listen to our coaches on our defensive assignments. Did there ball movement in the first half and in the second half too? Did that have like a, did that hurt you guys trying just getting stops on, on defense? I mean, I mean, we knew it came in and they were swinging it really fast, but I feel like we just played with a little bit of lack of urgency in the first half and. They was getting a lot of threes off in the second half. We just did a better job and just played much harder and to make sure they didn't get threes off. Uh, you guys also had 17 turnovers tonight. How, how do you plan on tightening up the offense and making sure everything? Yeah, well, um, we, um, we've been working on that every day. It's just like little turnovers that we don't need. It's affecting us. Yeah, so, things that my bad. You go. Uh, things that are. It's not really what the defense is doing. I think it's turnovers that we're you know creating on ourselves. You know, just running guys over and just throwing it out of bounds. So I think it's, it's, all the turnovers are correctable. I guess what's the feeling like, guys? I mean, you, you have Pitt coming up. I mean, is it easy just to kind of move past this one? Or? Uh, I mean, we got game Friday. So tomorrow we got to come in and prepare for that. Can't get this one back. I mean, we would have loved to win it, obviously, but can't get it back. Got to prepare for it. Take tomorrow uh, as prep preparation, excuse me, for uh, Pittsburgh on Friday and try to uh, get a W in that one. Do you guys look at this this game coming up to City and you look at that as Pitt as a big rival? Like even though you guys, you know, they're different conferences. You know, you got over the, over the last twenty years, you guys have a, historically haven't been competitive against them. But do you guys look at them as a, a big big rival? I mean, I mean you guys aren't from Pittsburgh. Or yeah, Florida, no, like, but it's a. Uh, I mean. If we look at it this way, you're talking about it now after we just played somebody else and it's coming up. I mean, it's a big game. People have been talking about it all week. So it's definitely one that you get your spirits up for. And uh, I mean, I've never played in a game like this, so I'm looking forward to it. But like I said, we're going to take tomorrow to prepare and try to get a W. Thank you. Thanks, guys.